Aloha mai kako. Welcome to our Ohana Hula Saturday. We're so happy to have you with us, joining us today. We're coming live from Nu'uanu Valley on the island of O'ahu. And we would love to know where you're joining us from because this is live. We have friends joining us from all over the world. I, I think I already saw uh, Japan checking in. So we'll, we'll say hello to all of our friends in just a little bit. Um, but we have lots to do, as always, plenty to do today. Our hula that we have been learning is Hene Hene Ko Aka. And some of you out there, and some of you right here, wrote your own verses. So we'll be featuring some of those in today's show. We'll also give you the results of the beef stew, pee pee stew, throwdown challenge, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was delicious. That's why I have to wear such a large muumuu today. Uh, <laughs> but we are going to be going over Hene Hene Kouaka verses 1, 2, 3, and 4 today. And um, yeah, we also have a celebration. Do you know what we're celebrating? Our anniversary. That's right. So uh, my husband, Luke, behind the camera, and I have been married for 10 whole years. And so we have we have a little... Uh, celebratory balloon that we wanted to share with all of you. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> <laughs> the production value on this show is just going up and <laughs> up, right? <laughs> Thank you, Grandma, for our happy anniversary balloon and for everyone who celebrated with us. It was actually yesterday, but we're going to just keep on celebrating all week long. So happy anniversary, babe. Love you. <laughs> all right. Uh, without any further stalling, what do you think? I think it's time. My, don't mind us. We're just doing a little dancing to the theme <laughs> music back here. Hope you were dancing along in your living room or your office, your bedroom, wherever you're watching us from. On our Ohana Hula Saturdays, we always start class the same way. It's a little bit of a routine that we do, um, and we always start with Hawaii Pono'i. So Hawaii Pono'i, of course, is our state anthem now, used to be our national anthem, written by King David Kalakaua and the bandmaster himself, Henry Burger. I almost said King Henry Burger, but he's not a king. He served the king, the Burger King. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be one of those classes. Okay, all three verses. Make sure you're standing tall and proud as we sing Hawaii Pono i Pa. Hawaii Pono i Na Na i i Kala ni ali i ke ali i ma ku ala ni he kami ha me ha e na kawa e pale. Ma 
Mahalo for that. Our next thing that we want to do is to say aloha to all of you. So we want to see who has checked in today. So let's jump over to the live comments. So we have Hayato Takaoka joining us. Aloha Hayato, great to have you joining us live today. Angelica from Germany, aloha. Thank you for always sharing our classes with your ohana there in Germany. Patricia joining us from Boston, good to see you. Irina from Finland, that's awesome. Irina, it's wonderful to have you joining us. I hope you enjoy yourself today. Grace Hula Evangelista, um, she is, I believe in Dallas, are you in Dallas? So Grace, aloha no, uh, Norie from Jifu, Japan. Sherry joining us, uh, I'm not sure where Sherry is from, but Sherry Coffee from Florida, there you go, from Florida, aloha no. Yvonne, another Floridian in the house, aloha. Jamie, nice to see you from San Diego, aloha. Veronica Velasco Mar Mares from Mexico City. We also have Nora from Mexico. Uh, uh, who else, who else? Catherine Romanow from Kelowna, Japan. Misuk An from Incheon, Korea. Yue from Frankfurt, Germany. Oh, no. Yue was in Frankfurt, but now is in Aotearoa. I love it. We are seriously a global hula ohana, my friends. We are all here, ready to dance together. Let's greet each other with an oli aloha. Oli aloha, of course, is written by Kumu Pilahi Paki, who helped to write the law of the spirit of aloha. And this is her chant that spells out each one of these line spells. A-L-O-H-A, -A, a little aloha, aloha. <laughs> for our oli aloha. Okay, so looking from one side of the room or one side of the globe to the other, hands down by your sides, oli aloha. Akahai na Hawaii, Lokahi Akulike, Olu Olu Kamana O, Ha Ha Kokulana, Aho Nuyala Nakila, Aloha. Oh my gosh, I wish you folks could see this from our point of view because, you know, we're looking at all the cameras. We have four cameras and all these lights and we go, Akahai lo kahi olu olu. And right when we say ha'a ha'a, which means humility, we have this little humble meerkat that bloop, pops up. It's actually my husband, Luke. He's between, we have three monitors over here and he pops up. Ha -a -ha -a. Yes, that's me. Where are you going? <laughs> Anyways, maybe you had to be there. Okay. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna noho ilala, have a seat. My kumule momi imal donado always had a sit for our prayers. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do our Hawaiian doxology. Two verses, one of, uh, of course, is written um, by Hiram Bingham, and it is the more popularly known one. Um, and then the second one, written by a dear friend of ours, Kumu Haunani B. Um, and we love her second verse um, that she wrote before she passed, Kuno Haaha. Okay, so both verses. Ho'onani pa. Ho'onani kamakua mo ke ke ki me ka uhane no ke akua mo ho'o mai ka ipu.
mahalo for that. Our second prayer that we do is called Ekeakua, and it is done in the Kahoa Hoa style. Hoa, of course, means friend. So I have my friend slash son right here, <laughs> and he is going to be following. I'll be the um, mea alaka'i, the leader, and he'll be the mea ho'opili, the one to follow after. So you can choose to be either one. Ekeakua, pa. Ekeakua. Mahalo no, Mahalo no, Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No ke la, No ke la, Amen, 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 Amen. Thank you. I chose a weird key today, huh? It was like for me, anyways. <laughs> Okay, as we move on with our chants and prayers, um, we want to pause, actually, to ask you, how is your law? How is your day looking? And for some of you, it's nighttime. So, uh, so if I were to ask you, Eames, that means how is the weather? How would you answer today for our weather outside our window that we're looking at right now? Hela o malu malu ke ia, which means it's kind of a cloudy day. Let's see if he's right. I think so. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful o malu malu, but we do have quite a bit of cloud coverage. Hopefully, it'll keep us cool. If you would like to answer in the comments, just write in hela and then the weather ke ia if it's daytime. If it's nighttime, he po weather ke ia. Okay. So I hope you're having nice weather. I haven't heard too much. Oh, actually, there is a hurricane coming to one of our islands. So hopefully it won't get to Oahu. But we're, we're keeping our thoughts out for Hilo and Big Island of Hawaii, uh, Moko Keawe. I know you folks are kind of keeping an eye on that hurricane. So, yeah, we got to keep, keep an eye out for that. All right. So now we need some sun to burn away these clouds. So we're going to do the chant that helps to rise up the sun. Our sun is already up, but uh, we'll go ahead and do this anyways. This is e ala e. Put your hands together in a little cup shape. And we're going to cup two times. And then we're going to clap flat one time. Okay, here's that pattern again. Ready, go. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Upoho, upoho, e ala e. Chant. E ala e kala i kahiki na i kamo ana kamo ana ho ho nu pi i kaleva kaleva nu u i kahiki na ayakala e ala e this time with kind of descriptive hand motions e ala e kala i kahiki na i kamo ana Come on now, ho ho nu, pi i kaleva, kaleva nu u, i kahiki na, ai akala, wake up son, e ala e, very good, okay now we're gonna put it together, we're gonna do upoho, upoho, and then a hand motion, try not to upoho your face, okay, ready, set, here we go, e ala e, kala i kahiki na, I kamo wana, kamo wana ho ho nu, pi i kaleva, kaleva nu u, i kahiki na, ayakala, e ala e. Very good. That one was a little tricky. Yes. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Because when we were doing it, the clap, 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 it was clap, clap, clasp. Oh, okay. So he's saying at the end, in between, it should be a upoho instead of a, instead of a clap. Got that? This is advanced level stuff he's talking about here. So don't worry if, if that's a little over your head. At this time, we're going to do a whole mai to help focus us because my brain just went. Nah. 
Okay. Eho my, you're going to repeat that same mantra. Eho my, eho my, eho my. 12 times in this whole chant because we do the whole thing through three times. Okay. So here we go. Eho my, pa. Eho my, ka, ike my, luna my, e, o, na, a, me, a, hu, na, no, e, o, na, me, le, eho my, eho my. Eho mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a huna no e o na me le eho mai eho mai eho mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na me a Thank you. Okay, next we're going to be working with our ipu. So go and fetch your ipu and um, fetch. Go fetch. Your ipu doesn't have to be an ipu. If you don't have an ipu at home, you could use. You know, you could just use your hands or you could use some sort of substitute. A lot of my students like to use their water bottle or something like that. We're just going to do a quick ipu uh, work today because we have lots to do. So we're going to start off with, um, we're going to do mele ipu heke ole. We're going to learn how to make it. We're just going to do it one time, okay? Hanavauika ipu heke ole pa. Hanavauika ipu heke ole scoop. Ika ipu heke ole sand. Hanavo ika ipu heke ole kuku beat. Ika papa hanano eo and stop. Okay, I know we usually have to dip it in the ocean, but we'll skip that step today. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're gonna do our, our beats. So, of course, the first thing that we always practice is that ka eke loloi, which is that rattling flourish on the side. Ooh, you folks are getting good. Nice. Okay, then we're gonna do the pa, which is a combination of u on the pale and te with the side. So let's do that alternating beat. U te u te four times. Ready? Go. U te u te u te stop. Good. The next beat is called kahela. It is the double beat. You get a u on the ground and you get a te te. Te te. Okay, <gasps> Kahela four times, ready, go. Utete, 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 utete. Okay, last but not least, we have our ku, ku beat. That's gonna be a u, u, utete, u, u, utete. Okay, let's try it just two times. Ready, set, here we go. Un, u, u, utete, u, u, utete. Okay, for today, super simple. We're gonna go pa, Kahela, ku, ku. Pa ka hella cuckoo, that's it. Okay? Ready? And here we go. A pa ka hella cuckoo. Pa ka hella cuckoo. Great job. Okay, you can put your ipu away and you're gonna kui luna, stand on up. Eames is gonna be my demonstrator. He will be my dancer for the basic hula steps that we're gonna run through that we need for today's hula. So, Let's see, we'll start off with something simple. Uh, of course, just the ka'o sway, okay? So for the ka'o, put your hands on your waist, thumbs in the back, fingers to the front, feet slightly apart, bend the knees. And ka'o. And stop, very good. Okay, I don't know if we have um, like lyrics to put up for this. We'll see if we have that. Kaho not lyrics, but like, lyrics. what does it call it? Cue cards, okay. Kaholo is the next one that we're gonna do. And for this one, it's gonna be a step together, step tap, four counts to the right, and then four counts to the left. Let's try it. Ready, kaholo. Step together, step tap, one, two, three, four. Step together, step tap, one, two, three, four. Step together, step, tap. One, two, three, four. Right and left and cool. 
very good and his steps are very even not one big and one small that's great okay the next one that we're going to use we use this a lot in our hula this month and it's called the kavelu so this one is going to take your right foot it's going to step forward and you're going to shift that way onto the front foot and then it's going to come together and then the left foot is going to go backwards and then it's going to come together you've probably um wondering is he mirroring me or should i flip it eames is actually doing the magic in his head he's flipping everything so whatever you see that's what you should do okay so forward on the right foot back on the left ready Cavalu going forward forward together back left together forward together back left again forward together back left forward together and back left and cool great we're gonna do a very similar step to what we just did it's called an O and the O you're gonna turn towards the wall on your left and you're gonna cross that right foot across and then change directions <laughs> change directions Ch -ch 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 change okay ready oh right foot go right turn side left turn side right turn side and stop there i know it gets a little dizzy when you do too many of those in a row okay so now we don't need any cards on the screen and what we're going to do is we're going to combine the cavelu going forward then back and then the o turning side then side it's kind of creating a little box a cavelu cavelu o, -O box <laughs> right foot go forward together back cross to the side other side repeat that again cavelu cavelu oh and oh very good okay uh next up the next step that we're gonna do is called the hella the hella is going to be feet in a v shape so heels are touching each other right foot is going to extend out to the side and bring it in and left foot is out to the side and bring it in. You know what? I don't think that we need hella. But let's practice it anyways, okay? <laughs> let's try it. Hella go. Hella right, hella left. Right, hella left. Right, left, and cool. As I'm thinking about it, I don't remember if we need hella. Anyways, we'll just throw that out there. It's a good one to practice. Okay, that is all of our basic steps that I think we're going to need. Probably I'm wrong, and I'll remember as I'm teaching you the hula. Oh, shucks, we forgot to practice that one. But congratulations. What? What do we need? Kalakawa. Do we need Kalakawa for this one? I'm not sure if we did. Oh, the next um, Kananaka we needed Kalakawa. Okay, so... Our song that we have been doing is called Hene Hene Ko Aka. So let's jump back into that. We've actually covered one, two, and three. The verses one, two, and three. So we'll do a little bit of review. But before we do, we have some fun stuff to tell you about. So Pauku one says, Hene Hene Ko Aka Ko Lea Lea Paha He Mea Ma'amawia for you and I. So this one, actually, I'll go ahead and review this one. And then I'll call you up. So hene hene ko aka means you have such a lovely, fun smile. Okay? So you're going to put your left hand on your waist. Right hand is going to go from your lips. Hene hene ko aka. Then two hands to your cheeks. Love that smile. Ko le a le a pa ha. Now this part repeats over and over. You're going to turn to the side. He me ama ama ia. For you and I for you and i so the pattern that we're going to do with the feet instead of going kavalu first and then o we're going to flip it we're going to do o first he me ama ama forward for you and i okay so that's the ending part let's put that together he me ama ama take the right hand across as we turn towards this left wall you can turn your left foot out to get you ready ready set here we go he me ama ama o ia for you and I. Got that? Okay, very good. Now, hene hene is going to be simple kaholo to the right and left. Hene hene ko a 
Ka then cheeks. Ko le a le a pa ha. Turn to the side. He me ama ama o i a. Forward on the right. For you and I. Ka holo side front side and front. That's your very first verse. Okay. Now let's take a look at verse number two. Verse two. Says Kawila Makineki. Now, if we remember, this whole song is talking about going for a ride on the streetcars. Do we still have those pictures of streetcars we can show them so that we remind them? These are what our streetcars looked like back in the 1920s. And this song talks about going on a streetcar journey for the first time. At least for, for, the, for the girl in the song, it was her first time. Um, do we have the, the big map that shows all of the stops? So we're going to go to four different locations. Well, kind of four. We're going to start at Kamehameha Schools all the, way, all the way down there where you see the K. Um, and then our, our first, that's our, our first location. We start there because that's where our journey begins. Then... The first stop is going to be Kaka'ako, which is right over here. And we're going to learn about that in a second. But we're riding on this Kawila Makeneki. Today, we're also going to learn about the next stop, which is Waikiki. Nobody wants to go to Waikiki right now because too many tourists, but we'll just go in Hula, okay? <laughs> so let's, let's get back into our verse number two. So Kawila Makeneki, this is a mechanical car. So we're going to get those gears rolling. Kawila makeneki. And then when you're riding on it, it's not so smooth. It kind of makes your body jiggle a little bit. Oni oni koki no. So that's the beginning of verse two. Let's get those engines rolling and we're going to kaholo to the right and kaholo to the left. Ready? And here we go. Kawila makeneki. And then ami two times to the right. Ho oni oni switch. Koki no. Turn to the side. He me ama ama Forward. For you and I. So you might have noticed that third and fourth line are exactly the same as the first. And for all six verses of this song, that is the case. Every verse ends with Himea Ma'amawiya. So you actually know most of the song already. Okay, let's try Kawila Makineki. There's a little bit of a dip in the road and a dip in the road when we go. Ready? And here we go. Kawila Makineki. Ho oni oni koki no. He me ama ama iya. For you and I kaholo to the right and left. That's it. Okay, so that was verse one and two. Now, if you're joining us for the very first time and you're probably thinking, that was a terrible lesson. She did not teach me anything. Well, that's because I taught those two verses last, last week, actually, two, two weeks ago. Um, so you need to go back and there's a replay in the discussion of this event. You can watch the replay of all of those verses. And I went a little bit slower. I can't promise that it was a lot slower, but I, I did go slower. Kind of explained it in more detail. Okay. So that's verse two. Now, verse three takes us to that first stop in Kaka'ako. Kaka'ako is still a place name that we hear today. There's a lot of development happening down there. It used to be um, known for the Ward Estate, the Victoria Ward Estate. There's still Ward Center down there, sort of Ward Village area. That's kind of the Kaka'ako area. But in this song, it was famous for something that you see in line two, right, here, right there. Pipi stew. And yes, that is an English word, stew. The word pipi is a Hawaiianization of the, the word beef. Because beef gets changed to beefy, get changed to pipi. Beefy pipi. <laughs> so <laughs> the pipi stew is beef stew. And there was this famous, famous recipe that the composers um, loved. It was their, their Auntie Mariah who made this wonderful beef stew, and they wanted to go and visit her to taste this beef stew. So 
What do we do? We tried to track it down. I'm not sure that we found Auntie Mariah's beef stew recipe, but our family last week did a little beef stew throw down so we wanted to fill you in on what happened with that we decided to find two of the top beef stew recipes in kaka'ako one of them was highway in and the other one was asahi grill we put it out to the instagram crowd and based on pictures because we couldn't do taste division via instagram but based on pictures Asahi Grill was the winner, just barely edged out by 4%. So thanks to everybody who voted. It was actually kind of a lot of people, and it was neck and neck. It was like, highway in. No, Asahi Grill. Well, the funny thing was, after we said, okay, these are the two that we're going to compare, all these people started saying, no, my beef stew is better. No, my beef stew, my mom's beef stew, my grandma's beef stew, my school's beef stew. Everybody had their idea. But only one person put their money where my mouth is. <laughs> we want to give a special shout out to Mama Chun, who sent us an entire pot of her special brown beefy stew. And I'm going to ask Eames to come up and be the final judge. Okay, so can you stand where everybody can see? Where can everybody see you? Okay, so... Um, Eames is going to let us know. He might crawl behind one of these pictures and then pop up under the one that he thought was the best. Was it number one, Highway Inn? Number two, Mama Chun's brown beefy stew in the Instapot for one hour? Or was it Asahi Grill? Okay. Drum roll, please. Everybody, I wish I had a drum roll. Which one is it? Dun, 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 dun. We're really into this pop-up <laughs> action today. Yes, Eames, hands down, said Mama Chun's was the best. So thanks, Mama Chun. And those of you out there, if you beg to differ, you know, we are open to tasting your beef stew also. <laughs> Anyways, we digress. Too much fun. Okay, so ikaka akomako, let's go back and review that verse real quick. After you finish your vamp, da 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 kaka ako, you're gonna make the place. E kaka ako, mako, you're gonna reach forward, mako. Then your left hand makes the plate. Your right hand, you gotta have it with poi. You're gonna scoop up that stew and poi and um 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 right into your mouth. Ayana ka pipi stew. Then you're gonna turn right into he me ama ama iha. Then forward. For you and I. Let's try it with a kaholo, right? And ikaka ako, place motion. Ikaka ako mako. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking about beef stew. Ready, go. Ikaka ako mako. Eat. Ayana ika pipi stew. He me ama ama iha. For you and I, kaholo to the right, two, three, one more time, ikaka ako, let's go, ikaka ako mako, ayana ika pipi stu, heme ama ama iya, for you and I, holo to the right and left. Very good. Okay. I just wanted to point out one thing about the eating motion. Now, Hawaiians would use poi as the side dish for almost everything, including beef stew. And there's all of, um, you know, everybody has their way that they like to eat poi. Some people like it really runny. And if it's really runny, you probably got to use your whole hand to scoop it up and eat. If it's mm, pretty thick, you could probably take one finger and and have a big chunk on your finger. But my favorite is two finger poi. Not too thick, not too thin, but just right. So that's why I always do two fingers when we're doing any sort of eating motion because it's always with poi and you gotta scrape the bowl and two finger poi. Let me know how you like your poi, okay? Okay, so that is verse one, two, and three. I'm gonna ask Eames to come up with us. We're gonna put on some music and we're gonna try Verse 1, 2, and 3 before we get into Iwaikiki. Can? Can do? OK. 
Okay, here we go, bud. Oops, sorry. We're going back to verse one. Henne, henne. Smiling cheeks. Turn to the side. Forward and back. Hollow. Henne, henne repeats from your cheeks. And mouth. Now cheeks. Sorry. <laughs> Already. Kaholo. Try one more time. You folks sing henne henne. Ready and go. Henne henne ko a ka. Ko le a le a pa ha. He me ama ama. Wiggle your body. Turn. You gotta have a little fun with it, right? Try that verse again. Kawila. Oni oni. Ami ami. Sing Kawila. Keneki, ho oni oni ko kino. He me ama ama iya for you and I. I'm sorry. Ika kako. Let's go. Eat the stew. Mama Chun stew is the best. Even makes us forget our hula. It's so good. Ikaka ako. Ikaka ako ako. Eat. Right now, we're going to dive in to verse number four. Pauku eha, verse four. There's actually six in this song, so we want to make sure we get through as many as we can. Today, we're going to do Waikiki. Oh, is there a question? Uh, I just wanted to know if you want to do the verse one. After. Okay. So, Waikiki is our next stop on our streetcar ride. And you are probably very familiar with Waikiki because it is the famous spot for locals and tourists alike. In fact, right now, we're actually having some issues because Waikiki is super busy. We went from it being totally empty to being overrun by visitors. So we are begging. Uh, if you're going to come to Waikiki, just visit it with aloha. Um, make sure that you're taking care of all of these places. And one of the ways that you can take care of Hawaii and of Waikiki is by learning a little bit about it. So I wanted to teach you a little bit more because this verse says we're going to go to Waikiki and we're going to swim in the ocean. Now, Waikiki is beautiful and Waikiki Beach is Waikiki Beach, but there were actually names of the different swim areas and surf spots along Waikiki Beach. So right now, I wanted to teach you a little bit about, oh, hello. Right. Teach you a little bit about a few of those places so that you can understand a little bit more of the history and what was happening down at Waikiki besides just hotels and ABC stores and all of that kind of stuff. So the very first location that I want to take you to is a spot that's known as Kavehe Vehe. Vehe means to open or to remove. And Kavehe Vehe is the name of this little beach right outside of Halekulani Hotel. So after you go, there's that, that sea walk. There's a little sidewalk that you walk behind. Um, used to be the how how terrace was that what how tree lanai? Oh no 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 how tree's the other one house without a key. You know what which one I'm talking about house without a key. So they had that beautiful tree there. Is it kiave? Anyways, house without a key at Halekulani. Their tree recently actually fell down, so it's kind of lying down now. But this little beach 
just to the east of Halekulani is called Kavehevehe. And the reason it's called Kavehevehe, Kavehevehe means the removal. In ancient times, Hawaiians would take their ill, their sick people down to this beach and have them bathe in Kavehevehe. And they would have them wear a lei of limu kala. You see there that I have that lei. It doesn't look so pretty. It's uh, actually made of seaweed. So they would have them wear that lei and go swim at Kavehevehe. And it was supposed to be this healing spot. They would take off their lei, they would remove, they would vehe their lei of limu kala and leave it there in the ocean as a sign that their ailments, their sickness, and all of their their um, bad you know germs or whatever would be taken off and left there at kavehevehe. So, just wanted to let you know that is the the original name of that little spot just next to Halekulani Kavehevehe. So that's spot number one. The next spot that I wanted to take you to is called Ulu Ko, and uh, our family has a special place in our heart for ko. Ko is a special type of tree. You can make bowls out of the wood. You can sew the flowers into beautiful lei that look almost like gigantic ilima lei. There used to be a entire grove of ko trees just off the beach where the Moana surf rider stands today. So the, the land and that beach area there was called Ulu Co. Um, now, the, the Moana Surfrider was built in the early 1900s, but even in the 1920s when this song was written, they probably still referred to this beach area as Ulu Co. So if you're going to tell your friends, oh, let's go meet down the beach, you probably wouldn't say, oh, let's go to the Moana because you can't afford to go there. <laughs> but you would say, oh, let's go to Ulu Co. They have a nice beach there at Ulu Co. Okay, the next beach that we're doing, going down the road there, is called Papa Nui. Now, a lot of you might think Papa means dad. Uh, and this is a, a father of, of Hawaiian surf culture. This is Duke Kahanamoku's s surf statue at Waikiki Beach. But in this case, Duke Kahanamoku um, named the beach area near where his, um, his statue is, actually more the surf spot out in front. He named it Papa Nui, not because he was the big daddy, but Papa is the same word that we use for board or surfboard. So Papa Heenalu is a surfboard. And at the spot that he likes to go, they use the big boards, the long boards, because he did long boarding. And so he named that spot um, long boards or Papa Nui. Papa Nui was the name of his favorite surf spot there at Waikiki. The next one that I'm going to show you is called Kapua. And uh, everybody knows pua means flowers, um, but pua can also refer to anything that is young, youthful, bebe. Uh, so kapua could be referring to children. In this case, it is not referring to a human child, but a, a child of the ocean, the little tiny fish. They call them fries or, you know, just the... the, the what is it called, schools of newborn fish, um, this spot, which might look familiar to you from recent news reports, this is just off of the Kaimana Beach Hotel at Kaimana Beach. That uh, beach was originally known as Kapua because it was well known that there were tons and tons of fish that would come there when they're spawning and, and being born. So Kapua um, was in the news recently because there were some sharks gathering. There was hardly any tourists. There was some sharks gathering because there was lots of baby fish and no one should have been surprised because the old name of this beach was Kapua. Okay, I promise only one more, but I just get so excited when I learn these new things. Okay, so the very farthest one down that side is called Kalehua Vehe. Kalehua Vehe is a spot that's known to surfers nowadays as castles. And the reason it's called castles um, is because this estate that you see right here used to be belong to the castle family. And it sure does look like a castle. It's a gigantic mansion on the edge of the beach. Um, it was actually sold to the Elks Club and was their first building that they had when they had their Elks Lodge down at Waikiki. Um, so it's known as castles now because of this. However, 
Before the Castle family built their estate there on the edge of the ocean, there was a chief in ancient times by the name of P.E. Koi, and he loved to surf there because it was the spot with the biggest, best surf on the entire Waikiki Beach. It's actually the very end of what we know as Waikiki, um, and he was known to go surfing with a beautiful Lehua Lei. Can you imagine heading out to go surf with Lehua Lei? He must have been somebody. Anyways, there, as a story goes he went down to surf at, Le, uh, at, at this spot with his lehuale and there was a chiefess who was giving him a run for his money he was she was keeping up with him on all the waves and showing off her moves on the papa inalu on that surfboard and at the end of the day he took off his lehua he vehed, he took off, he removed, remember, just like kavehe vehe, he vehed that lei and bestowed it to the chiefess in honor of the fact that she, uh, she surfed circles around him that day. So the surf break and the beach, there's not much left of it. Off of the Elf Club or the Old Castle's estate um, is known as Kalehua Vehe. Too much? I know, it's a lot. You came for hula and you got a history lesson, but I just think it's really important that if we're going to do a verse that says, let's go to Waikiki and swim in the ocean, we better know what the names were when we wrote the song. Okay, <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. Now you know a little bit more about Waikiki. It was not always just a tourist haven, but there was a lot of life, history, and culture there. Okay. My rant is done. Okay, <laughs> let's do the hula for Pauku Eha, verse number four. Iwaikiki Mako, after you finish your vamp to the side and your vamp to the side. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so you're going to start with a wave to the left and then a wave to the right. And then Mako, ag again, again, means us. So you're going to reach out to the side. So the verse before, we went straight forward and in. In this one, since our hands are just finishing... Bless you. Hola. We're going to reach out to the side and then in. Okay, so let's do Iwaikiki wave from the side. Iwaikiki mako. Now, o, the word o means to swim, but it also means to bathe. We're not really sure. They probably weren't surfing when they went to Waikiki in this verse, but they were definitely splashing, splish splashing around. So you're going to take your hands and you're going to splish to this side, and then you're going to splash to this side. Okay, let's go splish splash when we're taking a bath. Okay. So Iwaikiki, let's go to the ocean. Iwaikiki mako. Splish splash. Awana ike. And then you're going to wave to the right, wave to the left, then guess what? <gasps> Forward right for you and I. Okay, we're gonna start with holo. Da bi 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 Forward for you and I. Da dum 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 dum. Why am I saying dum dum? Iwaikiki. Iwaikiki mako. Splish splash. Awana ike kai. This is the kupuna slow version. <laughs> For you and I, let's speed it up. Da 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 da. E y kiki, e y kiki mako. Splish splash. Oh, na e ke ka e. He me ama ama o e a. For you and I, let's do it with the music. Good job, everybody. Did you fall asleep with my lecture about Waikiki? Sorry. You were listening. <laughs> Just kidding. E Waikiki, wave side side. E Waikiki, splish splash. Second chance is coming up if you missed it. Here we go. E Waikiki. 
splash. Okay, so that was verse number four. Um, don't worry, we're going to keep reviewing, reviewing every week. I know that was a little fast, but I want to make sure that I say thank you to those of you that did your homework from last week, including this guy right here. Uh, your homework from last week, which we can still continue if you would like to, is to write your own verse to this song, Hene Hene Ko Aka. The way that you do it is you take E the letter I, and then you put a place name. Mako means we're going to we're gonna go there. Mm. Then what are you going to do there? Action, ika, object. So do something to the thing. And then the third and fourth line, we already know. Hemea ma'amawiya for you and I. So before we run out of time, I want to give some special shout outs. First of all, to this guy right here who wrote his verse. Shall we sing it? Ipunoho? Right Ready, go. Ipunoho mako pa anime na hoa he me ama ama iya for you and I. So he said, at punoho we go play pa ani me na hoa with our friends. He me ama ama. That's just our regular thing for you and I. Nice job. All right. The next person who submitted theirs was Michiko. Now, Michiko, bless her. She's in Sydney, and she's on lockdown. Uh, so to keep herself busy, she decided to write a verse about Waimea. Have you been to Waimea? The big rock you can jump off, and there's good surf over there, too. So this is her verse. You want to sing with me? Okay. okay. Iwaimea. Ready? Go. Iwaimea mako. Hula hula me ku'u kane, he me ama ama iya, for you and I. So Michiko remembers coming to Waimea on the north shore of Oahu and dancing with her kane, with her husband. So Michiko, we hope you're doing well and hope that lockdown ends soon. But thank you for sending in your verse. Next up, we have Utako from New York, hopefully not on lockdown. Um, and she remembers coming to Manoa, also on this island, and dancing in the Malapua. Not the Manapua, that would be kind of squishy and delicious, but the Malapua is a flower garden. So she danced in the flower garden. There's a lot of dancing happening in this song, and I'm not mad about it. So let's try Imanoa. Ready? And here we go. Imanoa mako hula anaika malapua heme ama ama iya for you and I and I want to give a special shout out to Utako who added some harmonies to it. That's really what I was hoping. A plus job for you. Thanks, Utako. Yes, what is your question? Um, maybe like when it like when they like send in their thing. Yes, when they send their verses. Yeah, like we could pick like six out to make like a whole song or He is way ahead of me. He said when you send in verses, if you can make six verses, we'll make a whole hula with your verses instead of or these use or we could use all the verses even if it's more than six <laughs> 12, 12 verses <laughs> this is gonna be longer than the kumulipo <laughs> but it's gonna be a fun ride <laughs> we have one more verse to share with you before we go this is from one of our favorite ohana just one valley over kian and kiva i don't know if you're watching right now but if you're watching the replay we wanted to give a shout out to the langan ohana um your mommy Cat turned in your verse and it says, Iwai manalo mako, he e anai kanalu, he me ama ama uia for you and I. So they love to go to which beach? Can you tell? Why manalo? Why manalo is known for its um, potable water. They had uh, freshwater springs that you could drink from, and those ran down to the ocean. Waimanalo is where they like to go, and they like to surf on the waves, playing on the waves, or to, you know, play, play in the waves. That's what they do for you and I. So 
great job to the Langan Ohana and all of you. We are, it's not too late. Ian said it himself. We're going to do an epic journey. Maybe we might jump to different countries while we're at it. <laughs> but we would love to hear your verses. Uh, if you need any help translating those, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We'd be happy, happy to do it with you. Okay, so let's try. We're going to go through none of these new verses, but we're going to do the ones that we taught. Hene hene koaka, kawila makeneki, ikaka ako, and waikiki. Okay, and each one you're actually going to get to do a bunch of times, at least three times. So, enjoy. 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 Three. Yep. Okay. Ready? Start with the hula bam. Side and front. Hene, hene from your lips. And cheeks. Turning to the side for you and I. For you and I. Okay, try that first again. Hene hene. Hene hene koa. Try that verse again. I always wanted to do wrong. Kawila. Kawila makene. Oni oni. Oni oni kokino. Hebe ama kawila. For you and I. Okay, let's sing. Kawila makene ki. locate some poi balls because we're going to close our class the way that Eames loves to end our class which is with our poi balls I know we have some friends from Aotearoa who could probably show us a thing or 10 12 things on poi balls but we always like to end with poi balls a special treat for our keiki that are part of our hula ohana and our adults in fact some of you said hey it's not just the keiki. We like to do poi balls, too. So this is Hokey Hokey. Um, of course, not a Hawaiian song. Borrowed from our friends in Aotearoa. Um, definitely, definitely the favorite of all of my hula students. Hokey so, Hokey here we go. Hokey Hokey Toru Fa. Hokey Hokey Toru Fa. Oh, today was kind of 
kind of a workout, so thank you for being with us. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of the history. Feel free to tell me if it's too much, because I know I kind of go off the deep end sometimes, and I just get so excited, but I'm glad that you joined us for a little bit of fun. Luke and I are going to be off to Lanai tomorrow, so our Tuesday class will actually be pre-recorded, but it will be released at the same time that we always do, 5 p.m. Hawaiian time. So definitely stop on by. You can always put some comments in and I will get back to them when we return from our Huakai, our little vacation. Nice job! And with a smile the whole time, sheesh, it's making me look bad. Alright, finish strong, Queen. Finish strong. Let's take it home. Alright, from our Hula Ohana to you, part of our global Hula Ohana, we're really so grateful to have this time with you every week on Saturdays. Like I said, on Tuesday this week, it will be pre recorded, but we've recorded a special fun video to release on Tuesday so I think you'll still enjoy it if not then we'll see you next Saturday to learn another verse and go to another location uh, still time to do your homework if you want to turn that in and of course practice practice lots to learn right all right I think that's it for today have a great week Ahui ho.